stitching the dish. Get rid of the satellite dish. And the girls went out. We're going to let them out. And on a previous occasion, I have uh, I called up Dish Network. I told them I didn't want to do Dish anymore. Even with the, like the cheapest package, it was 50 bucks a month. And it wasn't any good, so I didn't want it. Never, never watched it. But the kids still have, need something to watch. And uh, news is nice every now and then. So what I'm going to do is, what we did was installed the uh, HD antenna. Or it's just a, it's an antenna. They're all just antennas. They just have neutral names. Like HD to make you buy them. And since they're HD signals now. But what, um, what I used was a... Uh, due to mounting problems because antennas have to be high I'm using their equipment that they abandoned a uh, top rail from a um, chain link fence to mount the antenna on top of the house and that way it gets up high enough where it gets a signal and I can get the channels I need I'm also using the way they ran their wire into their cable box, which they also left behind. And I'll be wiring all that in straight into the house, and we should be able to get four TVs using this signal, hopefully. All right, we purchased this antenna. Uh, Sportsman's Guide, it was like 22 bucks. It's amplified and motorized that you could turn it so you don't have to get up on your your roof and move it around every time you need to adjust it. Um, and after we bought this one, we went to another antenna place, and they had one on display as what not to get. So hopefully, this isn't what not to get. <laughs> it actually works. I guess we'll find out. If not, we'll be going back to the other store, and that'll be another time. And also, it's a race against time. It's nine. It's almost nine o'clock. It's going to be a scorcher. As you can see, it's like 100% humidity. <laughs> and it's uh, it's probably going to be the mid-80s, which is going to feel like the mid, like uh, over 100 today. So, especially if you're in the sun. So I'm trying to beat the sun and the temperature. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting this together real quick. Hopefully, real quick means real quick. Okay, right out of the box, I'm a little bit happier with this one. Uh, it's got pretty much the same components as the old one. Uh, this is the motorized base, 50 feet of cable. The antenna, apparently, uh, the other one you had to piece it all together and insert tab A, slot B, thousand times. This one looks like it's just gonna, just gonna fold. It's gonna open up and snap into place. And I snap the other part on there. That's the and it comes with its little ties, which I was wondering where I was going to get my ties from. The power supply, which is the, uh, it's also a booster, and it also powers the, it powers the uh, rotor motor that turns the antenna. Now, the good thing about this one is it's got standard cables, uh, cable hookups there. The other one I had. Um, had the European PAL version, which I had to get adapters for, which were almost more expensive than the box. A remote control. I don't wonder if that's infrared. Yeah, that's not going to. We're not going to use that because the uh, power supply is going to be inside the cable box. I'm not going to be able to see it. All right. Well, let me put it all together. Okay, that literally only took a minute um, to spread those out and to uh, screw them down where they're supposed to be. And I'm going to put the, the uh, rotor on there and hook it up to the right place and start setting it on top of the roof, I guess. Take a picture with me. Yeah, take a picture with you. I These want are the picture little teeny tiny pictures. And you really can't tell where to put this stuff on here, so I did the best I could. I, uh, this is the UHF part, apparently. That's the VHF part. The, I 
ran it under the pole so it would touch the pole. Then I ran it on top and screwed it in so it's, it's got two contact points. And with the back, I ran it underneath the plastic and so it's touching the actual aluminum uh, antenna piece. The rest of it's put together. And I'm going to go piece it together for the pole. Start hooking it up so it goes inside and have a signal hook it. Okay, that's a size difference. As you can tell, the previous one is significantly larger. We were having problems with reception with that. And uh, I'm not sure if that's going to make a difference, but I guess if it does, then I'll be putting up a larger antenna later on. And uh, I'll go ahead and put it on the pole and put it up on top of the roof. All right, we've got a problem. The uh, This is a bit of a smaller uh, mount here. I had to uh, hammer the um, fence rail so that it fits in there and also had to bend the bracket and the little wing nuts that came with it stripped. I think I had the same problem with the other one and uh, they no longer would tighten so I had to use the wing nuts. I think I had to buy these separately and that's what I used on the other one also but I uh, bent it here, hammered this down so it'll fit and now I have a pole that's going to put it up over the roof. All right, I have it mounted. Make sure your ladder is steady and stable and the ground is firm or you'll fall off. I have it mounted up on top of the roof. It's facing the right direction. It's on the right pole. Oh, mushroom. That's good, buddy. And I've got the dish mount holding it in place. Because otherwise, it's just a big ugly thing on your roof anyway. So if you move it out, it has a propensity to leak. All right, next thing I'm going to do is take this wire. And I'm going to put it up underneath the vinyl trim so it's out of sight. Until it gets to this point, it's going to come down and hook up to this box. And then I'll show you how I'll wire it into the house. All right, I'll remove the old box. This is interesting. This is a uh, the PAL connections I was talking about. You have to buy these little converters to fit in there. It's a European thing, I think. But this box was uh, from Heartland. The old antenna. It's been there a while. I had to pull this off so I can slide the connection back in there and the lizard. And I'll start hooking it back up. Alright. This is kind of odd. This is the antenna in. This one, the directions say, goes to the main TV. And this one goes to another TV. <laughs> I don't know what the, uh, what the difference was going to be. I don't know why they didn't make them the same. But I have this going to my living room. And it's going to be my bedroom. And later on, we're going to put a splitter on there to make it go to four TVs. All right. Got it stuffed back in there kind of. One is going to this little piece which is attached to the uh, ground in case it gets struck by lightning and goes down into the ground. Hopefully that doesn't happen because it will probably still mess everything up. And I guess surges is what it really wants to watch out for. So one, one TV, this will be the other. Like I said, I'll get some splitters later. Um, I have it this is the old wire. I have it going into the back. I have it screwed back in to the wall. So it's tightened down again. The antenna's coming out the top. I haven't tucked it into the vinyl yet. I'm going to go test it on the TV. Alright. It's kind of hard to see. Start this channel search. get. There's two of them so far. Three. Yay. Well, it's 24 channels so far. Well, I'm just all the matter of how well they come in without the garble.
Yeah, well, it says 44. I don't know if that's going to be accurate. It'll be interesting. I don't think we've ever had 44, have we? No. Did it say 56? That can't be right. We should hurry up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> only takes 10 minutes to do this. All right, it ended on like 56, so we're going to have to scroll through and see what we got. All right, 4.1, 4.2. It's the same channel point twice. Two, yeah, that's twice. It used to be the Spanish channel. Not all the, uh, all of the uh, PBS channels. So we got 7.1, 2. Looks good so far. I don't see any garbling. Mm -hmm. 7.3. Picture is great. Yeah, it's looking good. Now, these are the empty ones. I don't know where these go. I can take them off. I can't figure out. What is haven't figured out how to do it yet. <laughs> twelve. We have. We we having problems with twelve. Um, maybe. That looks pretty good. That's a country oh, music yeah. station. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a normal one. What's going? Which one, 21? Cubo. Yeah, this is Cubo. That one garbled a lot. It's looking good right now. Ion. Is that a home shopping channel? Yeah, we weren't getting that one before. Okay, so that's, a, that's definitely better. I don't know what this is. Are we getting that? I don't think so. Well, maybe. This is a weather channel. W-A-W-S. Second W-A-W-S. My TV. Is that what that is? I don't know. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't remember that one before. W-U-F or J-F? W-U-J-F? I don't remember I don't that one either. One. Home I Shopping one. Network. That's a, we, didn't think, we didn't get that one. Doing better. <laughs> this, I think, is an on air one that doesn't work. This is the old analog. Mm -hmm. And we did get that one briefly. WTEV, we got that one. But it had problems. I don't remember this one. Remember the second one? 47.2? every now and then. Okay. Uh, yeah, it would just. Alright, so this is definitely an improvement. Now we'll see how it goes with the splitter. Dish. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, we have a dish! <laughs> Alright, this is the uh, TBN, the religious channels. One, two. This is all the same one, this is pretty Which much the same. We've got a couple like of the, That one, I think it's that one, they have kids shows on. Yeah. One of them are really good. Church. JCTV, Jesus Christ Television. I think it's. Inlace. No, it's not that one. I think it's that one. Yeah. Soac, S O A C. Yeah. And, and Smilo it used, Child. It used to be Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. Well, it wasn't no 50, but how many was it? Oh, we'll have to go back and count. Alright, so it's 27 channels. Um, that's a couple more channels than we were getting, plus I didn't see any garbling. We'll, we'll have to wait the next couple days to see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and put this up into the vinyl. Because I don't want to do that and have it not work and have to pull it all out again. Uh, I used the iPad to uh, figure out which the best, what the best direction was to face this antenna. In my case, I live in a rural, rural part of Jacksonville, and all the channels are south of me, so I, this is pointed south. And we actually pick up Brunswick also. Brunswick channels come in, uh, like two or three of them, which are which is surprising to me because it's facing the opposite direction. Well, let me go ahead and put this stuff up here. All right. I have some little bugs flying around me. I started to pay attention to them. They were wasps. So, uh, be careful about the local wildlife. I'm surprised they didn't sting me.
I guess we need to pressure wash all this mess. Covered shoes? I missed one, but I'm not going to climb up there for that. No, you can't really pressure wash this stuff because it'll go up into the attic. So, would you say bleach? Like well, a broom, that sounds like a lot of work. Yeah. Or we could just let it accumulate and hire somebody later. Yeah. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Alright, coming down to the box. Everything's blurry. Alright, there we go. So I'm still doing, I'm still using the pieces that they left behind. I'm just using this little rubber clamp here. I'm talking to the video. It's hard to do with one hand. Hope I don't break it. Oh, maybe. All right, it's going. Oops, the old one. I have a pull on cabinet. Let's make sure I pulled it out of the box already. Ouch. Using my dog bit hand. Yeah. Are those the little things that oh, wow. um, Direct is, TV put on? This is a lot of extra. I could probably, if we have problems with it, I could probably... Raise it higher. Yeah, raise it up higher. That's a lot extra. Oh. Well, you uh, know what? If you raise it extra, maybe we'll get more channels. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, that could be six feet. I just don't want it looking ugly. It'll probably look ugly. Yeah. Uh, just leave it down low. Ah! It looks ridiculous. Let me tack. Well, what do you want to do? Just bundle this up? Or wrap it around the box or what? Yeah. Stick it down in the box if you can. No, I'm not sticking in the box. I'm not done. Well, I'll go ahead and do it. Turn it off. Just in time, the sun came out. It's time for me to retreat. I stuffed all the wires back in. I've got it tucked behind the vinyl. And antennas aimed in the same direction. Now, on that box, you can... There's a little button you can press that will rotate that antenna around to whatever direction you need. I just happen to put it up there in the right direction. But we're good to go. Ditch the ditch. Dish. Ditch the dish. Ditch. I can't talk. And get rid of DirecTV. Well, that saves some people about 100 bucks a month.